I'm building the gates in the back of the pickup truck because the bed of the truck is flatter than any of the other ground that we have out here. And the gates fit in there, so it's just an easy solution. I'm using these metal brackets. And because of those concrete uh, pillar posts for the 4x4s, we've got a gap underneath the gates. So I've just attached a 2x4. I've attached that 2x4 on the bottom as a sweep to lower the threshold so hopefully baby goats won't be able to squeeze out underneath of it. You probably don't need to watch me screw all these things together, but I thought I'd just show you how I'm putting them together. Running out of daylight here. The next step on these gates is to staple down fencing all around there. We had brought this fencing with us from Oregon, so it's nice to use a little bit of scrap. All right, so the next step is hanging the gates. I've already got the hinges attached to the posts here. And the gate itself is balanced. You can see a little, little piece of stick there to help get the balance just right. We want to just clear the concrete and more or less level right there. Ready to screw together. I've got all the gates hung and latched with these hook and eyes. There's still one more step to do on these gates, but Wendy really needs to be able to separate the goats. So I'm gonna concentrate on making at least one of these goat stalls inescapable for our little baby goats. As adorable as it is to see these little baby goats squeeze underneath the stall walls, we do need to contain them. The same idea that I have for putting the sweeps underneath the gates, I'm gonna use more two by fours to put underneath the stall walls. I don't know what to call these things, if they're sweeps or just board extenders, but with this setup, I can show you exactly how I attach them together. I'm using three inch screws, and because a three inch screw doesn't reach all the way through the two by four, I've drilled a long pilot hole with a pretty good sized drill bit here. And then I will go about, about halfway through the two by four with a, a much wider one that's uh, definitely wider than the, the head of the screw. Then I can just very easily screw it in and uh, cinch it up. It's a lot cheaper than buying a really long screw and it's a lot easier, more importantly, it's a lot easier than screwing a really long screw through all this wood. So it'll do what I need it to do. All right, I've got all of the stalls goat proofed, I do believe. We've got all of these extra two by fours underneath everything. The last thing I need to do with the gates is make sort of a two by four sandwich around this side of the wire because the long pieces were horizontal on this side. On this side, they're gonna be vertical. It'll be a little more sturdy and I think it'll be a little nicer. You might be wondering why I didn't just put that sandwich together before I hung the gate in the first place. It just would have been a heavier gate to try and hang. So this was easier. These two by four sandwiches for the gates worked out really well. 
Uh, they really firmed it up, putting that second layer on. I haven't been really showing a lot of how I've been doing these things. I've just been kind of telling you after the fact how I did them or beforehand. But anyways, in the, with these braces, we've got uh, short screws that just held the first layer on and longer screws that go almost all the way through both uh, two by fours. And of course, I've got some handles on there now. What I need to do today, what I need to try and do today, is start working on some metal siding for the front. And I still need to do some framing over on this side. We're gonna have a doorway right there. I just pried the gutter off of this, and a little earlier, I had chainsawed out the scrubby old cedar tree that was in our way right there.
This project took several days, spread out over several weeks. I'm glad it's done, and I'm happy with how it came out. Got another hook and eye latch here to get in this way. This will be the baby goat side. Eventually, we're going to have a separate outdoor pin for the babies out here. I was happy to be able to use these old hinges. We found those here on the property, just out here in the grass somewhere. So kind of cool to reuse something like that. I, of course, have gone back and battened down all the hatches, adding in all of those extra gasket screws. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be changes in the future, but this is what it looks like now. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.